we're going to start talking about uh, something that was asked in a comment on one of my last videos, which was the HA firewall upgrade um, video, which was how do we then downgrade? Is there any way, easy way to downgrade? And of course, downgrading is sometimes more of a concern for people than upgrading because if you're upgrading, then you're literally going up through the versions and the chances of incompatibilities are fairly small. However, going down, obviously, as we know, as we go through major releases and feature releases, we know that things change and database structures can change and so on. So one of the first things I think I'd, I'd always say is if you need to downgrade any firewall, there is a website, um, the web page with Palo Alto that you can go to for upgrade and downgrade considerations. And that's all part of, of making sure that you're prepared for, um, for whatever eventuality there is and whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. And that page is, I just go to this now, so page, place and go. So here we have the upgrade and downgrade considerations for say version 10. Um, I am very likely to because I spend all my time with it, but I'm not going to carry on down that road. So, so for 10.1, this is the upgrade downgrade considerations, and it gives you an idea of, of what the problems you might face are. Um, so for instance, unique master key for managed firewall, um, upgrade consideration none, or if you're downgrading, before downgrading to Pan OS 10, which is the version below. I don't think there's really any reason why anybody would be going further than a single sort of major release downgrade, but okay. Um, you must deploy an identical master key for Panorama and all managed firewalls, log collectors, and wildfire appliances. So if you've got a unique master key for your managed firewall, you need to make sure you've got that across there. Um, the things with the FIPS mode, um, there's that cloud identity engine, a lot of things to do with CDL, um, CDL certificates, and making sure you've got the right certificate on the box to continue your CDL configuration. But most people are going to be up around about version 10 now anyway. And with version 10, of course, you've got the certificates. It's using the thermite certificate, which is a device certificate for CDL. So this is worth going to. It's worth going to there if you need to do any, any downgrades. Um, but what we'll do is we'll do an upgrade on, uh, on my new PAVM Nevada, and then we'll show the, the, the software manager as well. Okay, so in the software center, we're going to do this on both so that we can get a real good idea of how we can we can do it both with the command line and through uh, and through the graphic interface here. So here we have, as we always say, whenever you're going to look for a new version or something like that, you would need to go to check now. And check now is going to make sure you've got all the links and any new uh, software that's been added or anything like that, you've now got the new updated links for it as well as the release notes. Okay, so how you would do that on the command line is if I just flip over to this now, so we're going to request system software check and that's going to go away and that's going to check uh, and refresh the database. So now we've got all the, all the versions here as we had previously um, when we looked at our, if we go back to our GUI, if we look back at our GUI and hit check now, this will do exactly the same thing and it will check for the software. We can also get, as well, we can get information about the software that we're running. Um, and this is where we start. To, we see the first command for the, the SWM. So all this is done in operational mode. So debug SWM uh, info. Okay, and that gives us the, the version that we're running. So the baseline is 10.1.0. We know that we're running 10.1.4, as we can see. And if you go back to the um, to the, the dashboard, if you look at the dashboard on your on your graphic interface, you'll see that that's the version that you're running. And then you've got the Git info and and so on. Okay, and it was never installed. The reason it's never installed is because this is the this is the version. This is the OVA that I downloaded. So what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade the firewall to 10.1.11, uh, so that's done. And then from there, I'll show you how to switch, because we have as well, I'll show you. So uh, debug SWM uh, status. So the software manager, SWM so software manager. So uh, a little known thing about Palo Alto firewalls, I think it's a little known anyway, it works, certainly was to me, is that it maintains two root partitions. So we've got sysroot zero and sysroot one. Now when you're upgrading the firewall, what you'll actually do is you'll, you'll load into the other partition that software. So 
if for any reason it goes completely wrong and the upgrade doesn't work in any way shape or form or the downgrade doesn't work you've only actually broken one partition so as to speak so you can flip to another one so i'm going to quickly update the i'm going to quickly update the software now so what we're going to do is we're going to download the 1.11 Okay, so that's now downloaded it and it's going to preload it into the software manager is what we're looking at now and what it will do is it will preload it into the other partition and then when we do the reboot it will load up into that other partition it will switch the um the default partition that it's going to run okay so that's done and now if we switch over to our uh, command line now we can do a debug swm status and because that's now loaded in the software manager, what we should see is we should see now that we've got the running active, which is there, and then we've got revertible, so we're going to revert to it when we re reboot. Um, and then we've got the name of the version that we're going to, which we've just loaded through the graphic interface. Okay. So now, if I come back to here and I go to install, what that will do is that will start installing that. It will start unpacking it into that into that um, partition and then when we go to reboot we'll reboot it and we'll reboot into the new partition with the configuration file that we have okay so although i um saved you the the uh, the weight there that actually took an entire age but uh, so the device now has to be rebooted so we're going to reboot it now into the new partition so we're going to do that when it's finally rebooted we'll come back and we'll just check our status again and once we see our status then we'll quickly revert it and show how we can revert it if something goes completely wrong. Okay, and so now this is upgraded, we can do a debug SWM status again. And we can see now that we're running the active running partition is this one, which is 10.1.11.h1. And so that's the version that we're running. That's the version of, of code that we're running. If we do a show system info and then do a match on sw version we can see that's the version that we're running the current version so what we're going to do is we're going to do a debug swm because what we're going to do we're going to assume now that everything's gone wrong it's not booting properly or something's occurred we're going to switch back to the other partition then when we do we're going to see that we're going to have a running version that's that's different so we are going to go uh debug that is revert and that's going to revert back to the to the other partition okay reverting from 10 1 11 h1 to 10 1 4 so we know that we're going from sys root 1 which is there this all very sort of um intuitive and it's going to show us which one we're going okay and then to reboot it from here we're going to do a request system no sorry sorry restart system and then that's going to tell us that we're going to execute in this command will disconnect the current system session because of course we're restarting the device say yes and then it's already gone so then it's gone down and then when it comes back up it will come back up into the new well the reverted partition which is the 1014 okay so now that's actually finally uh, rebooted we can do a show system info um, match on the sw version again we see we're running 1014 and then we can do beta swm status and then in the status we'll also see now that our running active partition is sysroot 0 that's 1014 and then sysroot 1 10111h1 now i mean realistically speaking if we uh if we go back to the the, the gui and we go back to the idea of okay we're going to need to downgrade now um You can see we've got the installed 10.1.4. If you needed to downgrade, you would go down to, uh, in this particular instance, if we wanted to downgrade to uh, 
Let's see, yeah, so what are we on? Sorry. Yeah, so we're on 10-1 now. If we wanted to go to 10-0 for whatever reason, so that would be one step down. We would consult the upgrade downgrade uh, recommendations, and then we'd have to have the 10-0 on the device because that needs the uh, it needs the 10 for all the main files and and everything like the main operating system. Once that's on, then we can go to the 10. Uh, we download the 10 11 as well. Okay, so now we have our base um, OS and we have the OS that we're going to go to, the uh, the maintenance release that we're going to go to um, for our downgrade. So now we're going to export a name snapshot. So our operations. We've got no commits pending on the firewall. If there were any pending commits, then you would make sure you committed it. And then we're going to export. Yeah, no. And change so go export a named configuration and we're going to use running config because that is going to be the most that's what it's running at the minute so that's what it should be doing okay so we're going to pick our version and let's say now it's going to ask us to select a, a config file for downgrading so we're going to use running config.xml knows it's being downgraded So now it's going to install the software. Okay, so now it's saying it's ready to be rebooted uh, for the new software to be effective. And it reminds us again, please make sure the firewall's master key is the same as Panorama's master key as we said before when we was looking in the upgrade downgrade considerations. So I'm going to click yes. And then that will uh, reboot and hopefully all will go well and it will reboot into 10.0.11.h1 and then we'll have successfully downgraded our firewall. Okay, so now we're finally rebooted and we're just going to check now so we do a show system info and we're going to match on the software version so now we're running 10.0.11 h1 it's been downgraded it's got the same uh, same configuration on it as it had before and if we do a debug swm status we can see now that we've got the revertible um, vertible partition which is 10.1.4 and then our main partition which is what we're running on at the minute which is 10.0.11.h1 so that's now been successfully downgraded the further you were to need to go downgrading it, I mean there'd be more and more considerations uh, but I would assume that you would never actually go much lower than 10.0 it, it, nowadays, there's no there's no reason really to go back to nine or or anything like that. So that's the the software manager. So using the debug commands on the software manager. So you can see now you've got the two uh, you've got the two partitions that you can switch between, and showing you an upgrade uh, upgrade and a downgrade um, procedure for Paolo firewalls.